Hello everybody, I'm John Wilmot and hello on this windy day in our tree labyrinth here at Karakrori. I would like to introduce you to my Ogma Tale of the Trees project. This is inspired by the ancient Oum alphabet and some say it's a language. Local legend here at Karakrori, it tells of Oum being first taught near here by an ancient teacher called Ogma. I invite you to go and see my website blog that explains the inspiration of this work in much more detail. This is at ogmatrees.com, O-G-M-A-T-R-E-E-S, ogmatrees.com. Now, Ohm was originally a collection of 20 symbols, not just a language, but also a sound system with four octaves, each octave having five sounds, forming pentatonic scales. There is a story that uh, Ogma students, the filly, memorized each Ogma sound or each Ohm sound and symbol by matching each sound to a myth metaphor of a tree or a shrub, such as this willow here. As you will read if you go to ogmatrees.com, I've expanded these metaphors into a set of 20 story poem songs. Now most of these have been performed in live shows by me, accompanied by my delightful harper friend Claire Roach, who provides harp music and additional vocals. To my surprise and absolute delight, these Ogma Tale of the Trees have been popular in live performances, and people have asked me, where's the book? Where's the CD? But alas, I've just not been able to afford to create these. A friend advised me that I should try the Sponsor Me project. So here I am now talking to you through the Sponsor Me service and asking, can you help me with this project? If you do, in return you'll receive copies of our productions that are funded by the funds that are raised here. And I think it's fair to tell you that Ogmas Taylor the Trees is also part of a larger campaign, Bards in the Woods. See, I've got this on the T-shirt here. And with Bards in the Woods, we encourage more people into the woods of Ireland more often. And the fun part is that we share picnics there with food from local gardens, farm shops and farmers markets. So you might be able to imagine now that Ogmas Taylor the Trees is a kind of flagship for a much larger tree, woodland and local food calling. So please do have a look through my project here on Sponsor Me. And for the rest of this video clip, I'll feature some very brief moments from the early days of our performances of Ogmas Taylor the Trees. So to recap, our project here that we're raising funds for on Sponsor Me is to be able to transform the Ogmas Taylor the Trees into a lovely book with background info and beautiful illustrations and also a double CD and we'll make that more interesting by including uh, a choir as well as the beautiful harp music and voice of Claire Roach. So thank you so much for watching this and I look forward to you joining us with this project and hopefully we'll come and perform it for you somewhere. So here are a few clips from how we've performed Ogden's Tale of the Trees, just myself and Claire, in small places up to now. Thank you for watching this and really hope you can help this be a wonderful book, a wonderful CD, and we hope to see you soon as well. Thank you very much. Beth the Birch was the first life on this earth, born here from another world, they say, and from this first birch, all trees, all plants, all animals and ourselves were served the first breath of life.
lies something waiting to surprise. And instead of slicing down, slice through and watch a star appear to twinkle for you. At harvest time, each day on my ladder, I reach closer towards the sky and I pick apples, filling barrels, for me, for cider, and of course to make some apple pie. my passion would renew. But not only did my passion get shorter, my arms and legs did too. And my body turned into sinews and I could feel the wind blow through. And arms began to caress me. And yes, love again was beginning to flow. I'd become a harp. And through me, love was for all to know. Brush the order. <laughs>